we're here because Walmart is going to have to change or go out of business. And we are so happy that you're here and this is, we're joining with uh, workers all around the nation and all around the world. Our cause is just and our cause is going to win. We're glad to have some great politicians, not all politicians are great, but we have a great one here in District 11, our Congressman George Miller. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you for coming out this morning to show your solidarity on behalf of the workers from Walmart who are seeking to improve their lives, the lives of their co-workers, to make this a better place to work, a fairer place to work, and a place where you can live off the wages that you get paid, which they can't do today. And thank you for showing your support for these Walmart workers. Thank you so very, very much. We stand with them because we know that if their working lives are improved, if their conditions at work are improved, then the conditions in our community, the lives of the families in our communities are also improved. That's been the history of the labor movement throughout the country. But they don't get a union in this in this off in this uh, uh, store. They don't get a union with this with this corporation. So they have to they have to run the risk. And what happens to them when they speak out for better wages? When they speak out for health care for their families? When they speak out for health care for themselves? They get retaliation. They get threats. They get fired. We're going to stop that. We're going to stop the retaliation. The retaliation has to stop against workers who are simply seeking better conditions, better benefits, better wages for themselves and other workers. And that improves the economy of our communities. So we have to understand it's not just about the Walmart workers. It's not just about the Walmart associates. It's not just about these individuals. It's about our community. And that's why so many people are here from throughout their community, from, out, from the faith community, from the consumer community, from the neighborhood organizations, from the nonprofit organization, seeking to support America's families in a very, very difficult economy so we can improve their livelihood, we can improve our economy. I'm proud to stand with all of you. I'm proud to stand with these courageous workers who are seeking and risking their jobs risking their jobs to speak out on behalf of themselves, their families, and the other people working for Walmart. Walmart, provide fair employment. Walmart, provide just compensation. Walmart, provide decent benefits for the workers who provide so much service to you as a corporation and to our community. Thank you very much for being here. Listen, this is the truth that you won't hear on TV. This is the truth that you're not going to hear on Walmart's little pretty page on uh, online. But this is the real truth about what happens to workers in one of the largest private um, corporations in America. How's everybody doing out there today? Good. Okay, so first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out, you know, showing support. And it's a beautiful thing that we all come together for. Working at Walmart and, um, you know... My name is Mario Hammond. I'm an um, overnight worker. I'm formerly an overnight worker. I was terminated with a bunch of my crew. So I'm just here, just like you guys, you know, to show support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, we just, as Walmart employees and associates, we're just tired of retaliation. We're tired of disrespect. We're tired of being treated unfairly. You know, when it's time to speak out, it's time to speak out. So I think they're gonna, they're gonna hear us more than ever now. And you know, I know we affected them where it hurts the most in their pockets, you know. And um, I'm not going to give Walmart none of my money on Black Friday, so I just hope you guys do the same and uh, support the cause. And thank you for coming out, you know. Appreciate it. All right, now we're going to bring up another Walmart worker, Pam, and let's give her a big round of applause and, a, and thank you for speaking to us. Hi, I'm Pam. I work at this store, and this is store 30, 3455. I'm an overnight stalker. I started out as a manager at $11 an hour, and I couldn't make ends meet, so I st um, voluntarily stepped down and went to overnights. And so I work weekends, and then I work a daytime job as well. So I'm doing two part-time jobs right now, and I stay here because I can keep my benefits, my medical benefits. Um, there's a lot of retaliation going on in here. They're cutting back hours for the people that speak up to us. 
we really appreciate you guys coming out and helping us. I'm a, a long time, second generation Richmond person. My father used to be pastor at McLaughlin Temple 20 or 30 years ago. So I've been here all of my life. So and my mother's Gladys, my father was Clarence. And what else? That's it. Thank you guys for coming out and supporting us. We really, really appreciate it. Hey, listen, let's have some music. The Brass Liberation Band. Music to march by, music to think by, music to uh, get your soul stirred up, music to um, realize we cannot lose. When we stand up for justice, when we stand up for right, I believe that God needs our voices, our feet, our hands, and our minds, or God won't get into the world at all. But you know that justice needs our hands, our minds, our voices, and our feet, or justice will never live in our nation. The Brass Liberation Band. that you don't have health care won't take care of your family. So every one of us, when we shop here, are subsidizing a multi-billion dollar global corporation. And it isn't about survival for them, it's about greed. And that is what we need to speak out against. I just want to say to the workers who are here, you inspire us with your courage and determination Thank you for your bravery. You have and you are working for working people all over this country and all over this planet. You deserve for your hard work more than mere survival. You deserve to thrive as we want every family who lives in this wonderful 9th Senate District in this United States of America and on this earth to be able that's to right, do. Right, so, 
thank everybody for being here. Thank you, and let's go and support these workers in their effort for fairness. Yes. Lonnie Hancock, everybody give her a shout out. Lonnie Hancock. You know, it's a great honor and privilege to be president of a great, great international union. But it pales behind the great honor and privilege I have to be standing here today with courageous workers from Walmart. They really show us courage. They show what it's about. And that's what our union's about. And that's what our country should be about. It should be about providing good jobs with decent wages and decent benefits. And the UFCW is going to stand behind the our Walmart workers and all the workers at Walmart until we win this fight, until we get better conditions, not only at Walmart, but at all these retail places, and it'll be a better place for the workers, and we'll have a much better country. I want to thank everybody for coming out today. It's a great day for us, and it's a great day for our country, and a great day for the Walmart workers. Thank you. I also have, I believe, our delegation's out. Yeah. Right. Can we bring Joe Hansen back up? Right. It's, a, it's another great privilege for me here to see one of my co-presidents of a great international union, SEIU, Mary Kay Henry. Mary just came from a little bit of a trip inside the store, and I'm proud to introduce her to all of you. A courageous fighter for workers all over the United States. Mary Kay? Thank you, Joe. We are proud to stand with the workers of Walmart here today, and we want the report from our inside delegation to be from our fearless leader, Reverend Carroll. Reverend Carroll. Hey, it's great to be here today, and it's wonderful, as uh, Reverend Lawson always reminds me, to meet brothers and sisters I hadn't met before. Some have been standing, we've been standing together for a long time for justice in the Bay Area. Um, and uh, we just had a, a, a delegation into Walmart. As you can see, the petition was not received, but we were received as a group. There was, uh, um, the manager listened to us. And we were very articulate that as a community, we will not stand any longer for threats and racist comments and retaliation against workers who are speaking out. Our faith traditions support it. Our national laws support it. Everything supports what they're doing. And Walmart is the one that's breaking the law. And so we were very clear about that, and we asked for a meeting, and um, I'm sure he'll be talking on to his people up. And uh, one of the reverends said, don't let yourself be used as a pawn, and we're not going to be letting us become a pawn in their game. It is our community. It is the health of our community. It is the respect and dignity of workers, and we are standing with you now. This is the, only the beginning, but you know what? We always win. We always have justice in the end, and so I trust that we will be seeing one another again. I pray for our work, and I give thanks for this delegation, this amazing group of people, the courageous workers, and those of you who are out here on this beautiful day. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, good morning, everyone. I was certainly not expecting to get up here to speak to this crowd, but you're not here about me. You're not here about you. You're here about those people that are inside that are working for substandard wages. You are here for the people that have stood up to talk about the working conditions that they are forced to endure day by day and are retaliated against because they stand up. Our standard and quality of living within our environments is up to us. As a community, if we stand strong, they stand strong. So everybody that is out here today, this is only the beginning. We need you to come back again and again and again and again until Walmart stands up and stands right for their community and for all of us. Because if they live better, we live better. See some pretty! Give a shout out, a movement's growing. Right now, just now, Brother Raymond Bravo just walked off the job. Come on, give him a shout out. Let's hear what he's got to say. Give a shout out, yes we can, this is how the movement goes. 
Hello, my name is Raymond Bravo. I work at Store 3455, Richmond, California, the Hilltop Mall, Walmart. Today I go in at 11 p.m. with like all my brothers and sisters around, you know, the United States walking off today. I'm going to do it too. I refuse to work on Black Friday. You know, this is unacceptable. They opened it up at 8 o'clock. You know, Thanksgiving should be a time for your family. You spend time with your family and everything. And in this country, Thanksgiving is a big holiday. And I wish, you know, the Walmart CEO would recognize that, you know, put put the, the lives of the associates rather than put profit over them, you know? And I appreciate all your support. You know, you guys took your time and everything to come out here. And and, it, and it's just, I feel hella grateful, you know? What's gonna express my gratitude? But um, here, you know, Walmart, they promise low and low prices, but you know, with that low price comes, you know, cost, you know? We ain't making anything. And you know, the taxpayers have, taxpayers have to uh, foot the bill, you know what I mean? And, and it's unacceptable. They promise good jobs, you know, they threaten us. We had a system manager in this store say if we get 30 uh, Walmart members registered in this store, they're going to shut the store down. Woo! Nothing has happened to that manager. You know, and this is acceptable to Walmart's policy because we got David, David Tovar on, on, you know, Fox News talking about if we walk out, we get fired, you know. They, they continue to re uh, retaliate against us as against company policy. They have a strict no re retaliation, you know, policy. And, and I witnessed it myself, you know, try to get a, an assistant manager held accountable. And, you know, the next two weeks, my associates are, you know, getting, my fellow associates getting fired. I'm getting, you know, my hours cut for trying to keep a manager held accountable. They, they demand all this accountability, but no offer, they don't offer any of themselves, you know. And that's unacceptable. Like I said, again, I'm grateful that you guys came out here to support us. And we... We're going to draw from your strength. This ain't stopping. This ain't this one Black Friday, you know, one day event. This is going to continue to happen until Walmart wakes up. You know, they fail, fail to recognize us. They refuse to meet us. And I'm going to read the, the script that I have to do today. So I'm walking off the job, my, um, my shift today. I refuse to work on Black Friday. My name is Raymond Bravo. I'm, working to, I'm not working today to protest Walmart's attempts to silence and retaliate against associates who have spoken out about things like Walmart's low take-home pay, unpredictable work schedules, and unaffordable health benefits. I believe in a better Walmart and that attempted to silence and retaliate against associates who want to make Walmart a better place to work, take the company in the wrong direction. For this reason, I am joining with other associates who are not working to demand an end to Walmart's attempts to silence and retaliation against associates who speak out. And I thank you guys for you know joining us and supporting us. Because without you, we couldn't do this. Thank you. Bill Lawson, he's back there. Bill Lawson, come on. Well, just come on up and let's let's look at you. He doesn't want to speak, but let's acknowledge over 50 years, over 50 years of working, 50 years of picket lines, 50 years of protest. 50 years of speaking out for peace and justice all over America and all over the world. Bill Lawson. And you don't, you don't need to hear from me. Uh, you've heard enough talk uh, from so many different people. I, I want to say to you that uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here uh, because I've served so many years as a pastor in Richmond at Easter Hill United Methodist Church. I served so many years in the uh, West County, uh, Contra Costa County, in interfaith program. I'm here because in every, in every faith of the world, there is a concept called justice. That's right, that's right. And so I am here because I want to be in solidarity with the workers. Yep, yep so that they might get justice. That's right. And you know what justice is? Justice uh, is find out what belongs to who and give it back. That's right. Find out what belongs to who and give it back. That's right. That's right. Every human being deserves respect That's and right. dignity. That's right. Every human being deserves a livable wage. Right. Every human being deserves right. an anti-racist, anti-sexist work environment. Right. Every human being, every human being deserves uh, care for their health and well-being. Every human being deserves a, a platform so they can enter into their elder years 
with peace and comfort. That's right. That's right. So I'm here because of my own solidarity with the workers for justice. What the scriptures tell us, what does the Lord require of you? But to do justice. 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 To uh, Corke Bose, who's a council member here in Richmond. And uh, also want to let you know that the uh, Carpenters Union is here. You want to give a word? Carpenters. You want to give a word? Quick word? Come on. This is Richmond. Do you care about Richmond? Do I care about it? I love What about Richmond, everybody? Can you hear yeah. I can hear you one more time. What about Richmond? Yeah. All right, then. What about workers' rights? Yeah. What about women's rights? Yeah. You don't have to sue to get a better job. You just show your face in the place, and you tell Walmart it's all over. What about Richmond? Yeah. Thank you very much. Woo. Come on, Richmond Council. Jeff, say a word. So wh why are we here? We're here because one family has way too much, and because of that, they think they can tell other people that they can live without enough, without dignity, without respect. Just because you're rich doesn't mean you have anything to tell people. It just means you're rich. That's right, that's right. And the fundamental problem in this country right now is that the income and the wealth is in very few hands. That's right, that's right. And that's what we have to change. That's what today is about. When the wealth and the income is in too few hands, you get abuse, you get disrespect. What's the antidote to it? Solidarity, right. coming together, That's people's right. power. That's right, yeah. Woo! Real quick shout out to all the workers here at uh, Walmart. I'm Javonka Beckles. I'm one of the council members, but I'm also a member of Local One. All right? And so, yeah, shout out to Local One. And we are here. I'm here in solidarity with the workers because, see, it's all about justice. There's enough to share. Uh, that, so Dr. Ritterman just said it, you know? This in income inequality is ridiculous. There is enough to share. They don't have to take it all. They can share it with benefits. They can share it with with fair wages, they can share it with, with fair uh, treatment of women, of their workers. This is ridiculous. So I'm hoping that you all get on your phones and call your friends and tell them to get out here and stand in solidarity with the Walmart workers in Richmond. All right, power to the people. Right, as a member of the Interface Committee for Worker Justice, I've been asked to offer a blessing. But I know that everybody here doesn't go to church, everybody here doesn't go to synagogue, everybody here doesn't go to a mosque, but everybody is here. And that's what's important. And what we need to know about blessing is that blessing comes from the heart. And blessing comes from feet that are willing to walk in solidarity with workers who are being deprived of their rights and their livelihood. That is blessing. So you feel that blessing right now, that's where it rises. It rises up out of human beings. And whatever you believe, that's where it is right now and that's where it exists. And that's what Walmart needs to know. And let me tell you something, Walmart is afraid of this blessing. That's right. They're afraid of a blessing that honors workers and that says that you will not, you will not exploit us anymore. You cannot exploit us anymore. Because we are here, we deserve to be here, we deserve to be heard, and we need you to know this blessing. Our feet on this pavement, our hearts and this commitment, is going to let that company know that they cannot continue to do this. So let's just feel that now. Because you are it. You carry the blessings in yourself. No matter what you believe, no matter where you stand, you stand here, that's it. Ashe. Shalom. Blessed be. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You got it. We're here. Let's go.
So if you guys can make it, I know this is the holiday time. Uh, you want to be with your families, but if you can stop by, uh, we'll greatly appreciate it. I, I love this. I'm, I'm seeing everybody here. It's really touching me, and I'm just I'm glad to be a part of this, man. So let's just keep on stand up, live better for all of us. Yeah. All right, hey, thank you guys for showing up. All right, thank you for showing up, taking time out of your uh, busy schedule. You know. Uh, we appreciate your support, and thank you for the donations. We're just going to be wrapping this up, and we're just asking you guys to come back if, if we don't get a good word for, from the general manager about the fired employees to get the jobs back. Once again, thank you, and we're, and we're grateful for your support. <laughs> 